Hi, John Hess from FilmmakerIQ.com. In this just one thing, I thought we'd get out of the edit bay and outside and get some fresh air and demonstrate to you a technique that I've been using to try to get better handheld shots. And it comes from my days in marching band way back when the dinosaurs roamed the planet. Well, see, in marching band, we have this problem. We have to play an instrument, like a trumpet, which is my instrument, put it against our lips and hold it very delicately while walking forward. It's not really a simple thing to do, especially for a big guy like me, but the cornet is not necessarily that much different than holding a camera. And first I wanna give you one extra bonus tip. If you have a small camera like this, go ahead and get out the camera strap, put that around your neck. And then when you're shooting, push the camera forward so that the neck strap gives you like an anchor. And that basically gives you now three points of contact down here, your hand and your neck to get a much more steadier shot. But that's really not the marching band technique. Let's talk about that. So when you're on the move, there's two things I want you to think about. Your heel to toe position and your center of gravity. So now when you step, a lot of people sometimes step flat footed. They'll just kind of raise their foot and kind of clump around. That's not gonna make for a nicer, nicer march. What we wanna do instead is to plant our heel first with our toe as high as, high as it can go. We used to say, toes of the sky, toes of the sky. And then when we step through that, we roll through the foot. Again, plant the heel, roll through the foot. Okay, and then the second thing you wanna do is lower your center of gravity when you're moving. In fact, the faster you go, the lower the center of gravity you want. So when we're, we're standing in position, we're gonna just bend our knees slightly. I'm probably bending a little bit too much, just so you can kind of see, cause I've got baggy pants on. So we're lowering the center of gravity and then we're doing the heel to toe. And if you want a visual, think about the, the Honda Asimov robot. That robot can certainly walk really well. The whole point of this is to keep the upper body as stationary as possible. So we can use techniques like this this next strap technique to get our shot. Now, obviously it's gonna take a lot of practice to get this move down smoothly. I mean, that's why in marching band we have marching rehearsals, right? There are a couple other things you wanna keep in mind when you're trying to do a, a moving walking shot and try to do it as smoothly as possible. First of all, uh, don't shoot zoomed in. You wanna shoot as wide as you can or wide-ish on your camera. I mean, no one wants to walk, no one wants to see a walking shot at 200 millimeter unless your name is Paul Greengrass, okay? Second thing you wanna do is keep your shutter speed at the 180 degree rule, so that's double your frame rate. Uh, that's the denominator of the shutter speed. Obviously, higher frame rate, it's gonna be harder because there's a little bit of motion shake in the camera. Lower frame rates, you get a little more cushion on that part. If you have image stabilization on your lens or on your camera, make sure you enable it because that's all gonna help you in the end. You, and believe me, no one's gonna be able to do this thing perfectly. Now this technique also works if you happen to have a gimbal. And uh, all you have to do really is try to maintain that position as best as you can when you're walking forward and backward. One thing I forgot to mention when I had the camera on the next strap is how do you go backwards? Now when we're going backwards, we don't actually wanna land on our heels. We wanna stay on our tiptoes all the way back. And the way we do that, I'm showing again with our left, my left foot here, is to kick the leg back and, the, and I'm on the balls of my feet. And I'm gonna stay on the balls of my feet for the remainder of the backward movement. So here we go. Again, you wanna lower the center of gravity, and the faster we go, the lower our center of gravity should be. And just for fun, here's one going really fast. As it you guys on YouTube like to watch demonstrations, here is two demonstrations, me on the left, walking with the camera, and then on the right, I'm using the marching band technique. Now, obviously, you're not gonna get a perfectly smooth shot for that. You really do need more equipment like a dolly or a steady cam, but you can throw on a warp stabilizer and you can see that the marching band shot survives a little bit better. It's still got a little bit of weird jiggliness, but nothing like the regular walking shot. And of course, if we use a gimbal, then it's a completely different ball game altogether. And there you have it. Now, I don't shoot handheld every single day. In fact, I shoot maybe handheld every once every couple of weeks or so. It's not my standard practice. I usually use tripods and other things. 
But this is a technique that I've used often if ever I need to do a handheld shot or even a walking shot. If you hear advice that contradicts what I have to say, well, they obviously don't know what they're doing and you shouldn't listen to them. I'm just kidding, of course. Uh, I'm just giving you guys an idea. It may work for you, may not. Go out there, try something and experiment. Now all this experimentation got me to pull out my old camera stabilization arm, which I attached to a, of all things, snare drum harness. Now if I can only figure out how to attach this guy to the arm, I'd be all set. But that's for another day. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful or insightful, do what YouTube wants you to do. Hit the like, subscribe button, ring that bell. Thanks to our patrons on Patreon. You guys are awesome. You help me keep my lights on in the studio. If you need some Filmmaker IQ merch, of course, there is that merch store down below. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna get out of this fresh air, which is still kind of hot. I'm going inside. This fresh air is getting into my lungs. Go out there, seriously, experiment, and try out these different techniques make something great. I'm John Hess. I'll see you at filmmakeriq.com.